hello from Alton Towers for the first time in 2024. I'm Scott. I'm Mike. And we are here for the Pirate Takeover. And this was a very unexpected movie. Yeah, this wasn't was it? impromptu. Literally. Yesterday was my brother's wedding. Uh, Mitch and Bryce, congratulations once again. And uh, Mike was there for the afternoon. And we were like, right, what are we going to do tomorrow? Mike's off work. We've not got a Thursday upload. I know, let's do let's something go towers. random. So here we are, Alton Towers. We probably won't do many of the rides, but what we are going to do is walk around and show you what this event is because Pirate Takeover is on for a couple of weeks at Alton Towers for all the various different half terms that everybody has at different points of the country. So, for example, my little boy, he's still in school, but there's plenty of families here, so lots of people are off well, school. And, are off, so. Yeah, exactly. It's weird, isn't it? Trafford so, are this week, Manchester's next week. Yeah, so basically, we, if you're going to come down to Alton Towers, we'll show you what's going on for the next couple of weeks so uh, should we go and see if we can find some pirates wow we found some yeah we have actually froggy pirates pirate frogs oh and uh, we've also got a, a new member of the channel all right duck now at the end of tower street and uh, unfortunately the duck rejected joining the team he said he's looking for the flume so yeah. shame it's lost but, yeah favorite rides gone and all that Anyway, see BB's land over there is open on this event, but we do draw a line at going yeah. in there, don't we? So, uh, but yeah, if you go on the Alton Towers website, you'll see all the rides that are open in the Postman Pat rides open. Actually, saw Postman Pat on the way, didn't we? Yeah, uh, he didn't have his cat with him, though. Justice for Mrs. Goggins. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna go over to Mutiny Bay and see what piratey stuff's going on, but yeah. If you are coming here as a family, CBB's land is open and there's a lot of great stuff in there if you've got a young family. Should we go and see some pirates? Yeah. Yes, oh no, that was Cornish. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you are enjoying this video and us two idiots walking around at the pirate takeover at Alton Towers, please hit that like button as it does help us massively and there'll be plenty more daft videos from us throughout the year. Right. <laughs> You pirates! <laughs> we did! Just pirate of you yet. Welcome to my pirate takeover. Hello. Ahoy there, shipmates. How be we today? All good. How are you? Oh, very well, so I am. Now, are you after some treasure here today? I am. Arr, this way then. Let's, see. Let's get you a map then. Would you like a map as well? Yeah, why not? Oh, sure thing. There we go then. There we go. There's your map there. Thank you very much. There we go. Let's see. There we go. And what we'll do here, aha, we got some more ship weights as well. What we're gonna do, so you'll see on these maps here, you've got some black pens. That means you're gonna be looking for black spot activities. So you'll be looking for letters. So our shipmates will be giving you a letter each there. Put it into the top row there. And once you get them all, you'll see they're all sort of scrambled, all in the wrong order. It's okay, you can put them into the correct order with the right word. That'll be our secret password. Once you have that password, take it to our treasure guardian. She's in a tent, so sort of a, what is it, red and yellow stripes. Red and yellow. Yes, red and yellow stripes, yeah. And then, if you have it right, the right password, you'll get some treasure! <laughs> if you're wrong, she throws you in the bay. Oh, <laughs> it is what it is. Now, do you all understand, shipmates? Yeah. Well then, give me a big arrr! Treasure map of Mutiny Bay. Yeah. And there are some letters hidden in these uh, areas around to make a password. Now, I've already checked and Nemesis doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> in our search for treasure, we found a wooden roller coaster. That's nice. in country. Definitely some treasure there. It's got a moist rail as well. Shame we can't go on it. Oh, get it open. <laughs> if only. The days of going on wooden coasters in this country in February are long gone, I think. It's usually around the time we'd be at Pleasure Beach for opening weekend Rattling. in the old days. Yeah, well, it's cold now. It's what we have noticed is there is a bit of work going on in terms of the queue lines. The uh, ride access pass, fast pass queue and the main queue have got some beams going up which look like they're going to cover the... Yeah, basically canopy, they're going to cover the queue lines by the looks of it towards... Or bits of them anyway. Maybe they're going to, uh, you know, they might be extending sort of the pre-show, not so much the main pre-show, but it might be in preparation, get your bags ready, get your stuff ready to hand over at the baggage hold point. So it might just be some preparation to get people ready for the baggage hold and ready for the uh, the pre-show. Or I could be talking absolute nonsense, I don't know. I don't know why they're doing That's it. What but. what we do. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it wouldn't be this channel if we made sense, would it? Uh, but also, what's really, really good news is that 
Alton Towers are bringing the flames back on Wicker Man. And Feed I think the flames. literally is a massive part of the Wicker Man experience. So I think they're doing the right thing. And it's just a sign of this park is going in the right direction with the, the current people who are in charge of making the decisions. They are smashing it, I think. So uh, yeah, that's going to be good to see. And also, I don't know if there's still tickets left, but you can actually walk Wicker Man now up to the, lift, to the top of the lift hill. Now, I've not booked it because when it went on sale, I was literally skint. I'm not afraid to say it would just be Christmas, but yeah, I think it's great. It's great that Towers are now offering that. They're also offering it on Oblivion yeah. as well. So Towers have listened. They've listened to what people are asking for and they're doing it. So things are on the up. And it's really great to see. I'm actually really excited for opening day. I don't think I've ever said that about Towers not before. for a while. <laughs> no, but I am genuinely excited. So yeah. We will continue our search of pirates. Oh, and actually, before we do, we will try and get a look at Nemesis Reborn, but we can't guarantee it, but we'll try. But for now, well, we found a Wicker Man anyway. A little bit earlier on, the pirates at the entrance of Mutiny Bay told us about the maps that Mike is so wonderfully modeling there. So there's little stations dotted around like this shed behind us where there's characters <coughs> who give you various cute clues to basically solve the mystery and find the treasure. So there's like this one behind us here. We'll go and hear off the pirate there in a minute. And there's a couple more dotted about, but they are really busy, as you can imagine. It's actually a really busy event. Those who are interested, my name is Crazy Nathaniel of Crazy Nathaniel's Not So Fresh Fish. I'm the fisherman of Tabuti Bay. These are my fish. The first to admit, they are a bit stinky. <laughs> However, in here is a vital clue if you are doing our map quest. If, if you do, as Mike's shown, you go around with those maps, then that's basically how you find the clues, isn't it? You go yeah. and speak to they the give characters. You a letter and then you make it, there's a word that it'll make up at the end. And as Mike's already told us, it's not Nemesis, and it's not the Nemesis either. No, because that don't fit either. <laughs> right, we're going to have a wander around to uh, Battle Galleons now because it looks like a little bit different than normal. Welcome to Sea Dog Starkey Sailing School. Aboard Sea Dog Starkey Sailing School, Sea Dog Starkey, the famous pilot captain's nephews and nieces, Ned and Nelly will be able to teach you and train you to be a fully fledged, professional, licensed pilot. Uh, no. There's actually quite a lot of shows on today. Um, these are all the timings behind us. They're all taking place in the courtyard. Uh, which of course is in Mutiny Bay. They're all pirate themed, as you would imagine at a pirate event, but again, it's something that you wouldn't always see from towers in years gone by when there's that many shows on throughout an event like this. So yeah, they're doing really good things and I can see why this event is so busy today because it they've really put in like so much effort with literally everything they're doing and it is rammed for February half term. I remember when they used to do these little events and they used to have like various big rides open and it was always dead, but this, it's getting busier. So it's great to see, it's obviously very popular. Just think of all the treasure you found here. Oh yes, cursed skulls, parrots made of gold. What about the old boot? We don't talk about the boot, but there was one treasure of Indy Bay that always eluded me. You mean there's still treasure somewhere here? The final treasure of the legendary Captain Black. What? It is said, somewhere in Mutiny Bay he hid a crown. A crown said to be blessed by the tears of a mermaid and used to belong to the king of Tahunu. It is called the Crown of Tahunu! Original name! We've, uh, we've lost the pirates, but we've found a new walkway, which has been, uh, well, it's not a new walkway, but we've made it wider, which is good for when the monorail's down, which is most days in the morning. Now, come to... Uh, have a look at some, aren't we, Mike? What Galactica. Is it? Yeah, it's great to see Galactica. You know, nothing to do with Nemesis Reborn. Clearly come to look at Galactica, aren't we, in this new walkway. Yeah. We've just seen Nemesis go around and we're like, yes, yes, it's real, it works. Are you excited? Yeah. Same. Does the roar still? It's loud. It's very loud, but yeah. Um, also, it looked quite fast as well. <laughs> we believe it's testing every so often, so we are now going to have to be patient. We've actually been sat in the car for 20 minutes because we pulled up round here and got told, oh, sorry guys, we're going on a lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> Timing out. So we timed that really well. 
But um, yeah, we were just sat in the car having a warm and saw the train going around, so we are like, right, get outside and wait for it. So yeah, hopefully there'll be some Nemesis shots to follow, sorry, Nemesis Reborn shots to follow. Well, 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 Nemesis Reborn. We're happy now, aren't we? The Nemesis, the ride, the Reborn. Exactly, exactly that. Are you happy? Yes. Yes, it still has its uh, B&M row. Yeah, it is but it still sounds the same. And it's absolutely flying around the track. Now we're debating if that's because of the wheel compounds, or if that'll change. You can hear it now again. There we go, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. But um, it's currently running without any uh, water dummies in it, yeah. so that's a good sign. Obviously, we're all hoping it's going to be open for the 16th of March. It looks like there's a lot of landscaping to do still and a lot of theming to do, but I think the ride itself, it doesn't look too far it's off. It's not far off. It's certainly not sluggish. No. That's for sure. So having seen that now, it's like I'm really, really looking forward to getting on it. Uh, in terms of pirate takeover, I think they've done a great job for I think families. it's a really good event for, for families, yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've not shown all the rides running, but what we wanted to show was what was different, and hopefully we, we've captured that. Um, I will be back probably with my son, I'll who's... Be back. I'll be back, yes. Um, <laughs> I'll be back with my son here at some point before Pirate Takeover finishes. I won't be filming it, but I'll probably get some more pictures for our socials. But yeah, that's all for now. Um, well, it's made my day seeing Nemesis run. It really, really has. I, I'm just like now, I'm, I know Pleasure Beach opening weekend's close, but I'm like, can we skip to the 16th of March, please? I am so excited to get back on it. And uh, it's going to be a monumental day for roller coaster enthusiasts. Obviously, a lot of us weren't really old enough to enjoy no. Nemesis opening last time. So we get to experience that this time as adults and then we get to go home and watch Gladiators. It really is 1994, like isn't it? It's all over again. Y yeah, so, uh, yeah. So when Beckham scores from the halfway line on MOTD that night. Oh, that's a few years later, isn't it? <laughs> a couple of years, yeah. Yeah, that, that's August 96. <laughs> anyway, many thanks for watching. Uh, please give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. It's a little like button below. Also, please comment, that really does help us. Many thanks for watching. See you next time.